Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Luke Rizabayov versus Trey Ogden. This is a really good matchup. Loic 18 5 and 1, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 2 and 3 and 1 in his last four. The one loss was against Matthias Rebecki. Uh, minus 150 favorite, 33 years old, 5'11 with a 69 inch reach. Fighting Trey Ogden, 17 and 6. He's 2 2 0 and 1. He should be 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Referee made a stupid error in the Nicholas Moda fight. Plus 125, 34 years old, 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. 3 inch reach advantage for Ogden. The difference for me in this matchup is Trey Ogden is defensively just better. He has better cardio. If he can get the fight down to the ground, he can do what Andre Petrovsky did to Josh Frum last night. If you haven't watched that fight, watch that. It's a decent fight. But again, if you look at it, it's pretty interesting. Let me skip back over here. Uh, da, 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 Trey Ogden. Straight, yeah, right here. Look at it. Strikes landed per minute at 2.93 to 3.38. Accuracy is 42 to 47, so much more active and accurate for Trey Ogden. Strikes absorbed is 3.73 to 3.59. Uh, pretty close on that one. Defense is 45 to 58. So again, like I said, he's more active. He's better defensively. He's more accurate. Here's where it's interesting. Takedowns average 6.73 to 31. 6.73 to 1.64. That's a little misleading. Uh, accuracy is 57 to 23. Defense is 55 to 100. So I, I, I even in the Al Zawadi fight, I thought Loic was losing that matchup. Uh, and they got got a really really nice uh, uh, shot in there and, and got the win. But with Trey Ogden, if he can get you down, you know Loic might attempt more takedowns, but he's not as successful. I mean, there's a lot of times where he's shooting a lot of takedowns and he's not getting it. Like for instance, which I don't think you can really do with Trey Ogden. Right here, he was 11 for 21. That's a 52% rate, but it's still 11 for 21. So he missed 10, you know, didn't get any in the uh, Matthias Rebecca fight, but, and then the Al Zawada fight, he was four of five. So it's 80%, one minute of, of control time, but Zawada was three for seven. So you look at Trey Ogden. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Takedowns, three, three, one, one. Even in losses. Submission attempts, two here. One on the no contest, one that he would have finished. So he's very active with his takedowns. I just think in this one, because early it's going to be close because Loic is good. That is just the reality of it. He's good. He's very powerful. He's fast. But Trey Ogden has is a better cardio, more active, more uh, ac accurate, uh, better defensively. If he can get you down, he, he can probably spend the rest of the round there. I like Trey Ogden in this matchup a lot. A lot. So I have Trey Ogden winning. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.